go. Ready? Yeah. All right, now what are you learning about today for school? Zebras! And what colour are zebras? Black and yellow, black and <laughs> Not yellow. Not black and yellow. What colour are zebras? White! Black and white. They've actually got black skin underneath all their fur. And then they go black, sorry, I'm just trying to get this in the right place. Black and white hairs. Yeah? I'm giving it a thumbs up. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Right, Mom, can you sit up straight I, for me, Petal? We're not getting any words yet, White. Well, cause... we were getting words yesterday, but I must have put something funny somewhere because we just we couldn't see them, um, which was a bit weird. I don't really know why we couldn't see them. Okay? Okay, so... Right, well, that's very helpful. Stop what? it. Stop it, please. <laughs> um, for this, I'm going to be using mainly Grimace White as the base. And I'm going to do the base first, the white, because of course it's much harder to get whites to stay nice and clean white on top of black. It's easier the other way around. So I'm just loading up I'm the white sponge. I'm hiding behind you. You're hiding behind me? Yeah. But you're covering me. I am going to cover you. Right. <clears throat> I've been I'll be in a stay still. Oh, you've got a little scratch there. Okay. I know. Okay, nice and still. So I'm not going to bother painting on your ears like I usually would because you've made your own ears, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah? So we're going to get a nice white layer on you. Hey, and you know what? Oh, gosh. Sorry. One second, guys. That keeps on happening, guys. <laughs> right, you talk to them for a minute. So, guys, what have you been doing today? Send something for you guys later on, okay? Ooh, can't wait what it is. Wait and see what it is. Did it say it's from Grandpa Brian? Well, no, I just know that Grandpa Brian was sending something. Why? I think it might be a late birthday present for you, I'm not sure. Right, chin up, close your eyes. Uh, right, so what were we talking about? I've forgotten now. You remember what we were talking about? No, zebras. Zebras, yeah. So where do they live? Oh, uh, in Africa. Yeah, and you get mountains. Well, I did just said they would live in Africa. Yeah, they live in Africa. And what what do they look like? Black and white. Black and white. What kind of shape are they? Do they look like flamingos, like birds? Or no. Do they look like lions? What do they look like? They look like long necks. They not not long long necks. They look like horses, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's you. Pretty much all white on your face. I'm going to bring it down here a bit. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of black. Mum, it's mm -hmm. not my birthday now, right? I know, yeah, it was your birthday a while ago. When was it my birthday? About six weeks ago, because the chickens are six weeks old, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. When did chicken hatch? Chicken hatch six weeks ago, that's what I just said. <laughs> so he hatched the day after your birthday, didn't he? Yeah. So he's my birthday chicken. Yeah. You didn't realise how fast he was right. when he was in that egg, right? Yeah, he was a very fast hatchet. Right, can you stay nice and still for me? Don't talk for a minute. Close your lips gently. Good boy. You're getting good at this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That tickles on my nose. Yeah. Oof, you need to brush your teeth, do you? Poof. Right. Smelly breath. Right, I need a little bit more black. I didn't pick up quite enough. All right, it's those crisps, isn't it? I don't like those. But I brushed my teeth. Not, not this morning. You haven't. But they are crisp yet. Mm. Okay. All right. So close your eyes just gently for a sec. Just going to put a little bit sort of greyish black on your eyes. A little bit of, sort of greyish black here. So they look like horses and they live in Africa. What do they eat? What do you think? If they look like horses, what do horses eat? What do grandma's horses eat? Mm. Grass! Grass, yeah. So if it eats grass, close your it's eyes gently. It's a herbivore! Well done, close your eyes gently. Good boy. So yeah, zebras are herbivores. 
And what they have to do in Africa is because sometimes they have to keep walking all the time. Basically. And elephants, when they hurry, spray water over them. Over themselves, you're right. Elephants do, yeah. So look at you, how are you looking? <laughs> <laughs> Go up. Now, are you going to... Can you keep your head really still for me and look up at the ceiling with your eyes? Look up at the ceiling because I want to get some white under... No, look up at the ceiling with your eyes. Good boy. And I again, can't. Try again, just look up. Good boy. It just means it's... um. It looks better. There we go. Well done. You're getting good at letting me go near your eyes. I right. am. You are, yeah. Just blending that in a little bit so you're not black, black, black. <laughs> I wonder what my next birthday present is. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna oh, it's no birthday present. It might not be a birthday present. I just know that Grandpa was sending something. Because so. he misses us. Yes. We miss a lot of people, don't we? Yeah. I kind of miss the beach, do you? I definitely miss getting outside because we've not really been outside since the start of all this, have we? Yeah. And it shielding. started at my birthday, right? No, it started way before your birthday. It started like six weeks before your birthday. But me and Dad thought it started at birthday. Not really, no. Okay, so you need to stay nice and still for me. You need a bit of a bigger brush for this. So this is always the interesting bit, is trying to get it a little bit symmetrical. So zebras are herbivores that live in Africa. That's what I just said. Yeah. And they've got black skin, but then they go grow black and white fur on it. White hair. And why do you think they have these stripes? What do the stripes do? Mm -hmm. Well, they're not really sure. So some scientists think it's camouflage, so that when they're walking in the tall grass, it's really hard to see them. Some think it's like camouflage as a group so that when there's lots and lots of zebras all together because they live in huge herds, they think um, it actually makes it really hard to pick out just a single zebra. So it's like the lions and tigers and hyenas and things that want to eat them. I want him to pick out one zebra to chase. It's really hard to see where one zebra starts and the next zebra ends. Some scientists think it actually helps heat them up and cool them down, helps them with temperature control, all these different stripes. So we don't really know, which is funny, isn't it? Because you think we'd know most things nowadays. Right, you close your eyes gently, I'm just going to give you some zebra eyelashes. Mum? Yeah? I kind of don't want my body paint. Oh, you don't want a body paint today? Mm -mm. Okay, that's fine. Not a problem. We'll just do your face. What I was going to ask you is I'm meant to be doing a demo face paint tonight for the Bath Body Art Weekend thing. Aww. Are you going to be my model? I you like that. I'm not ready for of... that. No? It could just be like I'm this. I'm going to make a big brush because it tickles me. No, no, we can just do another face paint. It's fine. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. So, I might... This is so symmetrical. Usually... When I'm doing doing the demos, I try and stay in paint from the front. But when I'm actually out working, I stand to the side and I paint from the side and the back. And then I can tip tip people back and it's a little bit easier to get a, a nice symmetrical paint. And I think I'm going to have to do that. So can you stay still for a minute? I'm just going to come around behind you like I usually would. Ooh, can I fit here? Oops, we're hooked what are you going to do to my back? I'm not, I'm just going to tip you up a bit so, ugh, so I can see your face. There we go. So I've done the side that I'm usually neater at. And then we're just going to try, <laughs> right, try and stay still, darling boy. There we go, good lad. That's pretty good. And then this one. So no this way I can see. Any. I think, I think we've hit some kind of funny button. Button, and it doesn't really let us see who's talking because people like um, 
oh sugar was it auntie angela people like that were um commenting yesterday but we couldn't see the comments until after i don't know what's gone wrong i'll look it up later right can you stay straight for me thank you well done so that one comes i am so out of practice at face painting it's funny and then this one goes down so you're a good face painter oh thank you well, it helps that you're starting to get really good at modelling. What's a model? Model is someone like, you know, like Isabella and Gracie. When they let me paint them, they sit very nicely. And then they let me get photographs after as well. Remember Isabella, big tall Isabella? She dropped off those flowers the other day for us at the end of the drive and I didn't know who it was. No. She had all her clothes on and a mask on and I just wasn't expecting a, an Isabella visit. Right, close your eyes gently, I'm just going to do your little zebra eyelashes because they've got nice long eyelashes. Right, I'm just going to go donk in the corner of your eye and splonk in the corner of that eye. That's so funny. And yeah, that is don't unusual because I don't usually do a full face zebra because to be honest I do a lot of kind of zebra style things but it's usually on grown ups and then I just do the little bits up the side. So what were we saying? And then I was saying, oh right, so get zebras, they eat grass, don't they? And sometimes bits of barks and twigs and things like that. Um, when did you just start it? And they, huh? When no. did we just start it? When did we just start it? Um, they live in great big herds, but within the herd, you'll probably get like one boy zebra with a couple of girls. What, what do you think happens if they have a lion or someone chasing them? What do you think they do? Mm, the do boy th bite them or kick them. You're right. Yeah, the boys tend to stay at the back. The stallions, they'll stay at the back of the herd as it runs away. And they'll try and bite or kick whoever's attacking them. And sometimes... Um, if, if a zebra gets hurt, sometimes the other zebras will kind of form a circle around them and try and bite and kick whoever's trying to hurt them. They can be a bit bitey. There's been quite a few cases of them being a bit bitey. I know there was a few people bitten when I was at the zoo. And there was, you know, I used to work at the Natural History Museum. Mm -hmm. Oh, sugar, I haven't done this very symmetrical at all. Um, the Natural History Museum was originally... Like over a hundred years ago, it was mainly a big collection. Like, you know how you and Finn collect fossils and stones? The Natural History Museum was a big collection of stuffed animals and bones and fossils and things that belonged to one very rich man. And he'd always been interested in um, wildlife and natural history and sort of teaching people. And um, people at the time, they thought that zebras couldn't be, couldn't be friendly, couldn't be tamed, and were like really unfriendly animals. So what he decided to do was he decided to show people that zebras could be friendly. And close your eyes gently. And to do that, what he did was he trained six zebras to pull his carriage. Remember we were talking about carriages, yeah. which is before people had cars. They had those kind of like wheeled carts that horses pulled. So he All had... different animals. Yeah, he had zebras pulling his cart, pulling his carriage around London. And then his, his collection went on to become the start of the Natural History Museum. It's called Mr Rothschild or Lord Rothschild, I think he was, I forget now. Right, am I definitely not doing any on your body, just on your face? No, just okay. on my face. Just on your face. Let's just make you look a little bit furry here and there. And then shall we put your ears on the oops that you made, yeah? No, sparkles. Oh yeah, you get sparkles as well, don't worry. I wouldn't forget your sparkles. Sparkles no. Uh, so what else have we not said about zebras? Oh, do you remember we watched the film with the baby zebra? What could it do within 20 minutes of being born? What was it really fast at doing? Stand up. Stand up, because you take ages, don't you? When human babies, they take a long time to stand up. Because you, well, your brother was quite early walking. He was about nine months, but usually 
human babies take a lot longer to stand up and walk. And this is just some chameleon line white. Just making you look a bit, a bit fluffy. Right, this is just going to be a very short one. Shall we sparkle you? And then we can do your video for the school. All right, close your eyes gently. I'll get your ears, okay? Um, what else could we say about zebra? So each of them has got their own pattern of stripes, like a fingerprint. So they're all different, which is another reason they think they might be stripy, is it helps them tell each other apart. Uh, shall I do one more stripe down the middle of your forehead? You might just put a little stripe in the middle of your forehead because it's a bit empty there. Good boy. There we go. Alrighty. So. <laughs> oh, we're squint. There we go. Alright, it's a little quick zebra. So we're not going to do your body after all. But you've got your legs to match, haven't you? <laughs> you funny boy. Oh, I should make your <laughs> nostrils a bit bigger, really, shouldn't I? Hang on, your nostrils are going the wrong way. That's what's not looking right to me. Where's my sponge gone? Where's my black sponge gone? No. What have I done with it? Have I put it down somewhere silly when I went to answer the door? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did, haven't I? Right, hang on, let me just get another black, black bit and do your nostrils the right way. I've done them pointing in the wrong direction. Right, I might just leave out your nostrils, that'll be easier. <laughs> there we go, we'll go like that. Yeah, okay, do you want to look in the mirror? Yeah, Mom. Yeah? What is that good? Oh, I got a thumbs up again, fabulous. Right, are you going to let me get some pictures? Yeah. Right, you stay there for a minute and we will say bye everyone. Bye. Just a little short one today.